why did NASA use pure oxygen at a pressure of 3 pounds per square inch instead of normal air at 14.7 pounds per square inch? I explain your answer in light of partial pressures. Now, the, uh, the atmospheric content of oxygen is 21% mole fraction, meaning if you had 100 moles of gas from the atmosphere, uh, 21 of those moles would be oxygen. So mole fraction here is represented by X. I did a little mathematical treatment of it just to prove that the partial pressure of oxygen with a 21% uh, mole fraction, if the total atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch, the actual pressure of oxygen that we breathe in in the atmosphere is 3 pounds per square inch. So what NASA decided to do, uh, instead of putting regular air into the space into the lunar landing module, they decided to put pure oxygen at a, at a pressure of three pounds per square inch. So the astronauts were getting the same amount of oxygen, but they had the added advantage of having a lower pressure inside the cabin. And that has at least three advantages that I can think of. The first advantage, advantage is that pressurized air is five times heavier than pressurized oxygen with the same oxygen content. So the astronauts had to go all the way to the moon. It took three days to fly to the moon, three days to fly back. I think they spent two days on the surface of the moon. So they had to have eight days worth of oxygen to breathe. And that's for three men uh, carrying on uh, normal activities with a full work day. So all of that had to be counted. And it would, have, it would have created a very heavy uh, um, weight requirement to have to pressurize that much normal air. So they pressurized pure oxygen instead. And that saved weight on the gas tanks and saved weight on the actual air that had to be pressurized. The second, re uh, the second advantage that giving them three pounds per square inch of pure oxygen instead of full atmospheric air at 14.7 was a lower pressure in the cabin allows for thinner walls to be constructed. So the lunar landing module uh, was constructed of the thinnest materials possible while, while not sacrificing safety. As it turns out, the lunar landing module walls were about as thick as a credit card. So a wrong move, you know, a sharp metal object bumped into the wall could cause a rip in the, in the, uh, in the lunar landing module's walls and it would cause a sudden decompression. So obviously the astronauts had to move around carefully in there. But the, the, the advantage of having a light space capsule was that it required less fuel to take off from the surface of the moon. It also required less fuel to get it there. And consequently, there was a, there was a saving um, in the size of the rocket necessary to lift it off. And as we can see from the 19, 1969 blast off of the Saturn V rocket, it was already a huge rocket, despite all the cost-saving measures they used, all the weight-saving measures, that is. Probably also cost-saving. The third reason is that a lower pressure is less hazardous in case of fire. During the Apollo 1 uh, space mission, the astronauts were experimenting inside the capsule. They were, they were locked into the capsule. There was 100% oxygen. They were breathing it at normal atmospheric pressure, and an electrical harness caught fire, and they all burned to death within, within less than a minute. And that was because the, the pure oxygen at normal atmospheric pressure was actually five times the amount of oxygen needed. And of course, it supports combustion and made, made for a ferocious fire. There was a lot of plastic inside the module. All the astronauts died. So they learned their lesson. Uh, they learned a harsh lesson by trying to use pure oxygen. So it, to reduce the fire hazard, they decided on using a lower pressure of oxygen, but pure oxygen, it's still pure oxygen. And also, it also has an advantage that if there is a sudden decompression, uh, they have a better chance of surviving because a sudden decompression from 14.7 pounds per square inch to the vacuum of space uh, could easily cause damage to the astronauts, whereas a sudden decompression from only 3 pounds per square inch per, uh, to 0 pounds per square inch still wouldn't be a pleasant occurrence, but would, uh, it would constitute a less, um, a less dangerous decompression and one that is more survivable, provided they have their helmets on. So if you can encapsulate those three or four reasons, they're really four reasons, but because the third reason is split into two, if you can encapsulate that 
into a paragraph, you will have answered the essay question to my satisfaction.